Human trafficking is a growing problem and it's taking place right here in the GTA. Police are now dedicating special teams to the issue. As Philip Lee Shannock reports, much of their focus is on the 401, which police say pimps are using as a major trafficking corridor. So he was, in my eyes, my boyfriend. And then things were really great in the beginning. He was very good to me. She so goes by the name Olivia and she's asked us to keep her real name and identity hidden. And things changed and he became abusive emotionally and physically and through his own manipulation, he kind of got me into sex work. At first, he told her it was just so they could have their dreams. So she met with men who answered an online ad and had sex with them for money. It's a life she was trapped in for three years. You don't hear about it as like a relationship and the complexities that it, it can be. She spent days in a hotel room, seeing no one except her pimp and clients. Last year, the guy she thought was her boyfriend was convicted of human trafficking. It's a story the head of this investigative unit dedicated solely to human trafficking cases has heard before. Quite often we see that she may have clients five to ten a day, six to seven days a week. And she now knows that she has no real person to turn to. She can't tell her parents that this happened. She can't tell her friends. She's been isolated, moved down the 401. She's out of her area of comfort. And the busy 401 corridor with its many hotels and motels plays a big role in human trafficking operations. This specialized therapist for youth who've been involved in the sex trade says hotels along the highway are used by pimps to rotate their stable of girls. We're going to go here for three days, and we're going to go here for three days. And it's in terms of trying to not get caught mm -hmm. um, and also to keep the, the like, it's a, a freshness of new people, of new young people um, to service uh, the clients. Now, Olivia meets with others who have escaped human trafficking, who are struggling with the effects of being brainwashed and ultimately exploited. Philip Lee Shannock, CBC News, Toronto.